Well, no, we're trying to find where the little turn off is. Like yep, before just... this one, I reckon it's. Look at that for a hard to see. Um... There we go. Oh, it's a tight track, this one in here. A couple of videos ago, we put the first scratch in the car. Well, I think there's going to be lots more right about now. So we've got about 800 meters to go, I think. I reckon we got it right first Mom, time. I'm cursing. Mom, I'm cursing. Have a look at this. That's as level as Mom, you're going to get. Mum, I put that fish out. Okay. Let's have a look. Somebody's proud of their parking. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Still hooked up. That is level. Just stopped. And look at that for a view up there. And not only that, we just rocked up at this amazing campsite. Guess what I found everyone? Mummy, you're my other bird. Go through the Valley of Doom. Let's go. So this morning we're off for a little trek down to the beach. Last night we've been camping uh, right up on top of that ridge. So if you can have a look up there, uh, the camper's just up the top there with a great view of the beach. Now we're going for a trek down to try to find the beach, and it's going to be somewhere down there. Let's see if we can find the beach. Oh yes, that's what we always do when we go to the beach. And what do we do when we get to the tree roots? Well okay, we're still trekking along to the beach. Come on, Bubby, you can do it. Hey, guess what, guys? We've made it. We made it. We're on down to the beach. So we made it down to the beach. This is the beach on the Great Australian Bight and Western Australia is that direction probably about 10 to 15 k's so we're pretty close to the border of SA and WA and once again what a stunning beach. There's I've got a big deal. Oh, I've got a big deal. 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 i have just in time for lunch. So we're about 5Ks from the WA border right about now on the SA side. And I was talking about before about quarantining um, or quarantine, you can't take your fruit and veggies in. So have a look. 
what I've got to cook up. I've got some pumpkins, all sorts. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, soup is Alex's go-to. It's his safe food. Anyone with autistic kids would understand about safe foods and it's great because I can sneak anything in as long as it's orange and it's got the same consistency. Fruit, veggies, meats, everything goes in it. It's fantastic. So I'm really, really lucky and thankful that he's um, quite keen on the soup. But it means that I'm ending up cooking lots of soup all the time. But that's okay. And I've also got a bag of apples. Don't really know what to do with them. Probably stew them or something. I don't know. But anyway, as long as I cook them, put them in the freezer, we're good to cross the border. I hate wasting food. I just think I don't want to just chuck it out. And we will we'll definitely use it. But here we are, 31st of December. Amazing view. It's New Year's Eve and I'm cooking soup. So step one, couldn't work out why the gas wasn't working. Oops. Got to plug it. Success. So next is a banana cake with honey. Check this out. So four bananas in here, a whole bunch of honey. Don't know what it's going to taste like. Also going to put it on the pan, so don't even know how it's going to turn out. Oh, have a look at that. I've only got one pan lid. It fits both. So it's got the alcohol there. The um, glass top there. So I've got the cake out of the pan. This is what it looks like. However, <laughs> uh oh, okay, so maybe it was the banana. I don't know, I've done cake in the um, cake in the pans many times, but I reckon the banana sugar bit. I don't know, anyway, excuses, just a chance to try another one. So that tops off a pretty good day today. Now, I've got to show you my cake. Have a look, won't win any points for MasterChef. But manage to shower, salvage a bit of it. And I bet it's going to taste fantastic. Well, let's hope so. We haven't tried it yet. But it cake then. in a pan, there's always a way. Sometimes it burns a lot at the bottom. Actually, this is the first one that I've had that actually has really been burnt on the bottom. Um, but I reckon the extra bananas, honey and all that probably didn't really help. But you've got to try these things. Honey and banana cake. It's good. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're going to sit back and enjoy our cake, have a beer, enjoy the view and see what we get up to tomorrow. So, we'll see you in the morning. See ya. We packed up our campsite, heading down the bumpy track back to the main highway, air, air highway. And then we've got around about 5 to 10 kilometres to go before the border and around about 197 kilometers to go before our campsite that we picked out for the night that we're going to attempt to get to. And only, I think it's, what was it, 500, 700, 750 kilometers to go until we reach Norseman. So we're slowly chipping away at it. The last campsite was so good, we ended up staying a couple of nights and also just to give the kids a break from driving and us a break from them needing a break driving. So back to the highway and let's continue this adventure. Last few moments of being in South Australia, everybody. <laughs> the big building, you mean the quarantine one? Hopefully, we found all bananas. No, we just double check everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, here we go, WA. So, we've made it 5Ks into WA and we're stopping for fuel. <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. Hey, Alex, how tall was that? Whoa. Only 630k's to go to Norseman. <laughs> I reckon we're going to beat the record for like the longest time to do <laughs> to get the a, tuna to Norseman. <laughs> to get across the Nullarbor. So yeah. this next one that's coming up in, what do we got? One Not hour, 24 day. minutes. It's a campsite that somebody told us that we have to go see. So it really pays just to talk to the locals and as you meet other travellers along the way who are going the opposite direction, ask them what's good, what's coming up. And apparently this next one, it's a bit of a highlight. So Yeah, it, highly, highly recommended. Well, I'm interested to go see. Yeah. Well, thanks. Another wee stop! 
right next to the highway. Found the turn off to the campsite for tonight. Just in time, it's all going a bit crazy in the back seat. <laughs> Which is causing the front seat to go crazy. But traveling with our kids is probably more to the point. So we're heading up to the top of this lookout and see what's up there. It's actually started raining, so this is going to make setting up a bit fun. 